Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the 2016 Fancy Flight Games World Championships. We uh, have a bit of a surprise here this evening. So originally, I planned we were going to be streaming Star Wars The Card Game for, for all of your uh, viewing pleasure. Unfortunately, one of the finalists uh, got sick or, or was, was feeling sick. He, you know, he didn't want to have to wait around until 8 to, to play the final. Yeah, that's um, a long wait. Yeah, yeah. He he had a bit of a drive home. He wasn't staying around here, so we we, we let him play. Uh, we let him play early. It was a great game. He actually did win. Uh, so he his that was uh, Brad Emmon, and he is our new world champion. So because of that, you know, we wanted to be able to show all of you guys something for uh, for a few hours during this time. And so I am here, uh, Evan Johnson. I, I write for FFG, and I'm joined by Lucas Litzinger. Hello. How's it going, guys? What are we going to be watching here tonight, Lucas? Uh, we're going to be watching some Star Wars Destiny. Oh, snap. Yeah, I know. Star Wars Destiny. And, and for those Star Wars LCG fans who are a little bit disappointed, I do think that Team Covenant did actually film the yes. final, so you hopefully will be able to watch that at a future date. Th that is absolutely correct. Yeah. So the video is out there. I also know that Andy Hornby, uh, another big guy in the Star Wars LCG community, filmed it as well. So there should be a few videos floating around for you to, uh, for you to find in the future. Uh, yeah. It was a great game. You should really check it out. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be have some Star Wars Destiny here for you yeah, very shortly. I am so excited about this. So, like, so what is what is Star Wars Destiny? Tell me, tell me a little yeah, bit. Star tell Wars, me a little something. Star Wars Destiny is a collectible dice and card game. Yeah. That uh, I personally have been working on for you know uh, about a year or so. Oh, oh, you're the designer. I am the designer. Yeah. Oh snap! Uh, with Corey Koneska. So, uh, him and I have uh, put a lot of time and effort into this game, and we're really excited to kind of uh, actually show off some gameplay to people tonight. Yeah, yeah I'm excited to see it on the stream. We'll, uh, we'll be coming to that very shortly. Uh, as soon as the players are ready, we've got uh, two people playing t tonight. We've got uh, Ryan Thompson, one of our own FFG employees. He does a lot of the video work here behind the scenes. And then we have Tom Malucci, who is actually last year's Star Wars LCG World Champion. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. So uh, the caliber of play might be pretty high here out of the, dig uh, out it, of the gate. That, you know? that is true. I, I know Tom is a very good uh, card game player. He, he, I know that this is also probably his second or third game of Destiny ever. So uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how, uh, how it goes. Right. And, uh, you know, we won't just be diving right into, like, commentary on the game. We'll actually take some time to explain the game to you, kind of get you up to speed on what the game is about. How Absolutely. You play it, and uh, hopefully... <laughs> This will be very user friendly for uh, right. for everyone hopefully, involved. Hopefully, you can follow the action since uh, you know I know not too many people are actually familiar with the game yet. Yeah, yeah, it's not even out yet. That's right, it comes out uh, soon. So uh, yeah, this is going to be super exciting. Uh, Disney is going to be a battle between Star Wars characters, and you can pull characters from all different eras. And one of the really exciting parts about the game is the deck building aspect of it. Mm -hmm. So uh, these are not your normal normal starter decks uh, that you might have seen played up to this point. These are uh, constructed decks, full 30 card decks. Yep. And so on the one side it looks like we have Tom uh, with Han Solo and Ray. He's got that beautiful alt art Ray. And uh, it looks like Ryan is uh, building a wall in between the two players. <laughs> I think that they might be planning to actually open up some booster packs right here on the stream That's for us. Possible. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. They're sh oh, they're shaking oh. it out. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness. All the booster packs. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yep. So. Okay. All right. All right. It looks like they're gonna crack some of these uh, suckers open. Yeah. What? So what's uh, what, What's it look like inside a booster pack? What? What? What do you find in one of those things? Yeah. Well, we're we're gonna see what actual cards we find. But each booster pack holds five cards and one premium die. And so uh, you are going to get the card that goes with the die. Okay. Each die has a card that is associated with it. And so we make sure that you get the correct die and card in the pack. And, you know, there's a nice little start. Oh, nice. There's a little, it, it's right got a little there. holder. Yep. yep. All right. And, what uh, do you get it there? It looks like it got, uh, oh, man, that is a pretty great card. Commanding Presence. So yeah. that is a legendary. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so that's a nice pull. Way to go, so, Tom. Yeah, so... Uh, there's either a rare or legendary die in each pack. And the little purple on the bottom of the card there shows that Commanding Presence is a legendary. And man, that is a, that is a die that has no blanks. Wow, yeah, that, that's pretty good because most dice do have a, at least one blank, correct? That's right, the little red uh, side of the die is usually the blank side of the die, but Commanding Presence, uh, no blanks. So that's a great pull. He also got a Daring Escape. Yeah. So that is an event card, uh, Noble Sacrifice, another event card, take cover, and hit and run. So we got a bunch of events and commanding presence, which is an upgrade. Yep. 
And yep. so the, the dice cards kind of come in a couple of different varieties. One of the varieties is a character. Mm -hmm. And if you get a character, you can include it on your team. So yeah. you can see that Tom has Han and Ray. So that's his team. And Ryan has Count Dooku and Kylo Ren. And so that's his team. And so you actually have 30 points to spend on your team before sure. the game begins. And you can pick characters that are villains or characters that are heroes, but you can't mix and match the two. Sure. And so once you have constructed your team, uh, then you put together 30 cards using uh, cards and dice that match the colors of your team. Oh, General Grievous. Oh, man. Snap. Nice. Yeah. I wonder, uh, I wonder if Ryan is rethinking his character selection right now. <laughs> General Grievous is definitely pretty cool. Grievous is pretty cool. He has, uh, he has a lot of damage. He has a 2-2-3 two, two, damage for a resource side. And he... Uh he basically steals upgrades from your his from your opponent, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure that's what he does. He does. Yep. All right. You are correct. Collecting lightsabers. Yep. So, yeah, any time that uh, one of your opponent's characters is defeated, Grievous can actually take that upgrade away, which is pretty great. That is pretty great. I see and, second chance oh, there. Oh, second chance, yep. So uh, that's an uncommon card, and that it heals five damage when a character is defeated. We have a smuggling, which is an event that allows you to discard a card from your hand to gain a resource. Uh, Trudge work, that yep. is a support card, allows you to exhaust one of your characters to gain a resource. And then finally, field medic, which is a, a red card that allows you to heal two damage from one of your characters. So yeah. uh, actually a pretty solid pack there. I like that pack. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So both, uh, they're probably just going to uh, stick with the decks that they actually have already constructed. Uh, I imagine, I imagine so. Right, right. Both of these decks are are not 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 the decks that you would find in the starter set. They are they're fully constructed decks uh, that that we actually made in the office uh, from booster packs that we opened. Yep, and so uh, uh, you see the two dice on each character. Uh, unique characters always have the option to bring one or two dice with them to the game while non-unique characters, which we don't have any in this game, uh, always bring one. And you will pay more points to bring a unique character to the game uh, rather than uh, uh, with two dice rather than a unique character with uh, the one die version of it. All right, so both players shuffling up their decks here. Yep. Going to go ahead and Looks like they're gonna cut. do so, the cut. Uh, yep, they're going to draw five cards into their hand. Yep. And the mulligan rules are pretty friendly in this game. You can shuffle. Uh, nice sportsmanship there at the beginning of the game. You can shuffle in any cards that you don't want back into your deck and then uh, redraw up to five. So, uh, all right, they're doing the roll off. All right, so they're going to roll off here, which means you roll all of your character's dice. Whoever rolls the, the higher numbers, you just count up the numbers and all the die, they get to choose which battlefield is used. The battlefields are those two cards, uh, the horizontally printed cards that you see uh, uh, just to the right of the heroes there. Yep. And uh, so it looks like Ryan won the roll off, and he's choosing in between the Frozen Waste and the Imperial Armory. All right, so it is the Imperial Armory. Yep, and uh, I believe the text of the Imperial Armory allows you to return an upgrade to your hand. Uh, I think actually, the Imperial no, no, no. Armory it is... allows you to play an upgrade from your hand. Yep, well, reducing its cost it by one. Uh, its cost by one, yep. So the battlefield has an ability on it that will go off when someone claims it, which right. usually happens towards the end of a round, so we'll get to that later, I'm sure. Yep. Both players drawing five cards. If they don't want any, they'll be able to uh, discard them and uh, shuffle them, or not uh, discard shuffle them, them, shuffle back them back in, in their yep, deck. And yeah. then redraw up into five. Yep. So early in the game, you're usually looking for some cards that will give you some extra dice. So uh, we see Tom's hand there, and he didn't actually have any cards I gave him. I think he might be doing this. Uh, we'll see if he shuffles them in or not. He should be shuffling them in and then drawing back up to five. But, uh, you know, you probably want cards that give you uh, extra dice and or cards that can give you some resources because kind of accelerating your resources early is actually pretty pretty important. All right, so there he goes. He uh, draws the other cards and then shuffles his cards back in. Yep, so, uh, slightly incorrect there. But, oh, you really? Know, you we'll shuffle? You actually shuffle them in first, so you could draw the same cards really? uh, yep, before you draw. But, Good to uh, know. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm sure we'll get this worked out. Not a problem. All right. So it uh, looks like he did get a couple of cards with dice now, including yeah, I see BB uh, ooh, in Diplomatic there. Immunity. Uh, so that's an upgrade that gives a ton of shields to his character. Shields block damage. The object of the game is to defeat your opponent's team or yep. run your opponent out of cards. Yep. You can see each character's health in the upper right-hand corner there. Uh, I believe that everyone on this battlefield has 10, except I think Kylo Ren uh, has 11. Uh, Kylo Ren has 11, yes, yeah. correct. Count Dooku uh, has 10, though, yep, correct? Yep, uh, the rest of the characters do have 10. 
So it looks like that is uh, an Enrage played by Ryan, and that allows him to deal a damage to one of his characters to uh, gain a resource. Yep. And that's a great early card to have in the game. So uh, it is an action to play a card from your hand, and it's also an action to do what Tom just did, which is activate a character, and yep. that allows you to roll their dice into your pool. And it looks like he rolled the plus two melee damage and something else I can't quite see. Yeah. Might be a little bit hard to, to tell exactly what they get, but uh, maybe we can listen in and, and hear what they're, they're doing. Looks like uh, Ryan just played an upgrade on one of his characters, taking his action. Yep, yep. Be so playing a card, whether it's an upgrade or an event, uh, is all an action. Rolling dice is an action. And then uh, resolving dice is also an action. So, all right. Uh, looks like Ryan is rolling in Count Dooku here. And he got two results. And uh, he'll save Kylo Ren for later. So activating a character is an action. But uh, you don't get to activate two of your characters, just one of your characters. So now it's back to Tom. So the game just goes back and forth. Action, 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 action. Players take turn doing actions. Yep. And uh, it's pretty simple, straightforward. And All right. He's uh, playing unpredictable there, which is, is going to let him uh, re-roll a die or do some. Oh, so it's an ambush card, which yep. uh, gives Han a shield. It is. Yep. So <laughs> Han's ability is that he gains a shield whenever you play an ambush card. An ambush allows you to take an additional action after playing the card. So that's one way to kind of take two actions in a row. Yeah. Which is uh, pretty handy. That, that seems pretty important. It is. Yep. Tempo is a big part of this game. All right. So Ryan is going to go ahead and resolve both of Dooku's dice to deal damage, melee damage, to yep. Han Solo. Han Solo had a shield, so he soaked some of that damage, but he is wounded now. So that was, uh, so it looks was a nice like, little attack there. Looks like Ray has a one discard and a plus two melee showing. And then uh, yep. looks like Han maybe just rolled resources and perhaps. maybe some damage. It's a little hard to see exactly what uh, I, yeah, the I symbols on the I dice. Think, I think he rolled a range damage and a resource. Yep. All right, looks like Ryan's pretty happy with his roll there. Yeah, two specials. So he got the Oof. special on Kylo Ren and the special on the lightsaber. So the special on Kylo Ren is going to let him look at a card in Tom's hand and deal damage for that card's cost, equal to that card's cost, to one of the characters. Right. Now, it's important to realize in this game that even after you roll a dice, you don't actually get to do that immediately. Right. It is a, an action later in the round uh, in order to actually resolve the dice. So your opponent always has the ability to play something like Unpredictable, which mm -hmm. is what we saw, to re-roll a die. Yep. So Tom could have actually used that Unpredictable to like re-roll one of Ryan's dice if he had kept it in his hand, Right. Uh, which is actually a pretty strong counter. And this whole game has that kind of back and forth, I take an action, you take an action, just this very natural kind of flow back and forth uh, uh, that just makes the game move very quickly. That's right. And uh, another thing that is important to note is that as an action, you can actually discard a card from your hand to re-roll any number of your dice that are in your dice pool. So it looks like Tom's going to go ahead and resolve uh, BB-8. Looks and like he got the special there, so he's going to re-roll yep. that die and another die and keep them both. So, yep. looks so like maybe he got rolled one of his uh, Han dice along with the BB-8 die. But uh, if you don't have BB-8 special and you want to re-roll your dice, so you roll a couple of blanks on your dice, you can always discard one of the cards in your hand to re-roll any number. And so this actually gives you a lot of control. Oh, man. So Ooh. Kylo's special just went off and dealt three damage to Ouch. Han. That is brutal. Yeah. That's so much damage. That's really exciting. All right. So that we can see that Han's dice uh, looks like they're both showing resources there and uh, possibly even BB-8 up at the top there, yep. so that w which means uh, Tom can get potentially a lot of money here. He could, yep. And he does have some expensive cards in his hand. Yep. The DL44 Heavy Blaster costs three, and he's discarding the Diplomatic Immunity to re-roll Ray's dice. And, uh, yep, looks like he rolled a plus two uh, melee damage and a plus one. Right. So th those blue-sided uh, dice, uh, you can't resolve them unless you have a die showing the same symbol that's on the black background that's just a, a normal facing. Right. So, uh, so those dice right now, uh, the resource he could use with Han, because you can yep. actually use those dice 
and match them. Yes. Uh, even with other characters. You don't yes. have to just match them with the character that rolled the but dice. Th but that plus two melee there isn't really going to do anything unless you can get another melee damage That's die right. somehow. Oh, man. Another Oof. special on Kylo Ren. That could be huge damage because the DL44 is still in Tom's hand. So that would deal three more damage to I Hod. imagine Tom's going to play it right now. I think he will because the DL44 has an ability that when played, you actually get to uh, force your opponent to remove one of their dice. Yep. And so, yep, there goes the Kylo special. So that was a nice play by Tom, because otherwise uh, Han was potentially just going to get just destroyed by Kylo special in yeah. the first round. All right, so I think, uh, I'm not sure, I think Tom is deciding whether or not he wants to play. Uh, uh, that the, looks like it binds all things. It binds all things, yeah, yep. which allows him to reduce the cost of, of an upgrade, uh, an upgrade by one. a blue upgrade by one. Yep. So he went ahead and did it. Ryan passed. Ryan claimed the battlefield. Uh, it didn't look like he had an upgrade in hand that he could play with yeah. that reduction. But it does mean that he goes first next round. Yeah. So now at the end of the round, uh, both players are out of actions. Uh, they're going to gain two more resources. So those little uh, yellow cubes are resources. Yep. Then they are going to draw back up to five cards. And you can always discard something that you don't want before drawing back up to five. Sure. And we can see right off the bat here that Han Solo has taken a massive he amount has, of damage. He has seven damage on him, so only three more damage to knock out Han, which oof, that, that, that that's, would be a that's huge That's pretty blow. rough. Yeah. That's you, pretty rough. You know, you're really hoping to draw some cards with ambush here yeah. if you're Tom, so you yeah. can start kind of shielding Han Solo. Yep, whenever and you play a card with ambush, Han Solo can get a shield. That's right, and make sure that he doesn't just leave the game <laughs> in the second round. Right. That would be unfortunate for Tom. Yeah, Tom definitely needs to keep Han Solo around for a little bit longer. He does. I think we've cut to us because uh, they're trying to fix the cameras over there and make it everything a little bit more a little bit more special for you yeah, guys. Yeah, we're not going to miss any game action. Yep, yep. Well, I'm sure they just paused yep, it. We'll so. uh, jump back into round two when we're ready. But yeah. uh, early in the game, it does seem like Evan, with his Kylo Ren special, was able to deal a lot of damage and take the advantage. Yeah, yep, yep. He was... Uh, yeah, Kylo Ren did a ton of damage, you know, just kind of, uh, you know, blind rage. Yep. All right. So uh, it does look like Han Solo activated and Count Dooku activated. Yep. And uh, Han rolled a two damage. Yep. I see two a two range damage. damage. Uh, looks like a plus and two a plus range. Plus two range. So that's four damage. Yep. That's a four bit. range damage that's sitting out there. Dooku has a focus result. Yep, and he's, uh, Ryan's going to go ahead and use the focus result. And the focus allows him to turn one of his other dice to a side of his choice. Yep. Yep, and he's kind of seeing how much more damage he needs to finish off Han. And it looks like he's going to flip it to a one. Uh, looks like a two. Two. Mm -hmm. Oh, so there's unpredictable yep. right there. Yep, he's going to flip it to a two melee damage. And unpredictable comes out, which gives Han a shield uh, and also allows so Tom to reroll a die. Yep, and he so rolled into a two disrupt. That'll allow him to uh, break both of uh, Ryan's resources there, taking him out of money for the round unless he can roll resources on some of his other dice. Right, exactly. And so uh, there goes the two damage from Dooku. However, that <laughs> shield came in and actually saved Han. Yeah. So he's still alive. He's, he's just, just got that one, one health left. One, uh, one damage yep. away you from know, death. I think it's time for Tom to deal some damage. He's got that yep. four damage on the table. But uh, no, he decides to go ahead and play the lightsaber and ray. However, at the same time, I like this move. Yeah, there are very few ways to actually deal damage to characters without uh, dice. In that's fact, right. I don't know if there are really uh, any. There, no, I'm not really no. Yeah. I mean, that's something that was really important when designing the game is making sure that you can't just kind of like throw damage out right. there on a character without dice. So he because can... we want to give the opponent time to respond to any action that that someone takes in the game. Yeah, so seeing that there isn't any dice, sh any dice showing damage currently on Ryan's side means that Tom has a little bit more time. He does. You you do have to worry potentially about your opponent kind of doing two actions in a row, but out of blue, they don't really have any tricks up their sleeves like they like Red does. Sure. To kind of pull multiple actions in a row from hand. So, uh, oh, it looks like Ryan actually has a Power of the Force in hand, which is a, an event card that allows him to resolve one of his dice uh, and change the value to the number of blue upgrades he has. Sadly for Ooh. him, that's uh, that's one. He has yeah. one blue upgrade, so we probably won't see that coming down anytime soon. But there's the damage. Han there's shoots. the damage from Han. <laughs> Han shoots. It's Dooku. Dooku's taking it. So uh, interesting choice here from Tom to go for Dooku first rather than Kylo Ren, who does have a lightsaber on, hmm. on him. And there goes Han. And sadly, that DL44 does not have redeploy. If it had a redeploy keyword, he could actually move it 
over to another character. Oh, really? Yeah, but uh, it doesn't have it, so he loses the upgrade. All right, so BB-8 gets activated. Looks like focus. he rolled a focus. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Mm -hmm. And it looks like uh, Ryan's going to go ahead and gain a resource with his lightsaber. Yep, and that will allow him to trigger his... Uh, so that, that Kylo Ren die that you see there dealing damage, he actually needs to spend a resource to make that happen. That's what that little yellow tag at the bottom of the die means. Yep, yep. So he can get two damage off that die if he pays a resource. So Tom is just sent up for a big attack with Ray here. He has the lightsaber special, which deals two unblockable damage. So shields don't block it. Yep. And uh, three more damage from those two other Ray dice. So, man, Dooku is just getting just shredded right here and you know that's gonna be it for Dooku just about I think he'll have one health left at the end of this round so it looks like uh, Ryan went ahead and claimed the battlefield so now that he's claimed the battlefield he was able to play an upgrade from his hand that cost my swan but he doesn't yep so Dooku is gonna go ahead and uh, take two more damage he's one away from going down you know I I didn't actually see Ryan use Dooku's ability that round um, but uh, before Dooku takes damage, you can actually discard cards from your hand to give him shields. Oh, okay. That said, if that lightsaber comes up again, right, not right, it's happen. unblockable. Yeah, it's going to be unblockable. So it and it wouldn't have helped him there because the lightsaber was unblockable. All right, both players choosing if they want to keep any of their cards in hand. Yep. Then they'll uh, they'll discard any they don't want, and then they'll draw back up to five. That's right. You always draw back up to five. So it's really important in this game, you know, to figure out how you're going to deploy your cards each round and. You know, you can use them to discard cards. You can use them for their ability. Mm -hmm. uh, or sometimes, you know, you can just kind of hold them in hand as a bluff to think that, you know, you are you might have a counter that you want to play. And I actually see Force Protection in the middle of Tom's hand there, and that's going to be pretty good. To, that card uh, can yep. be very good for shielding up your characters, and that can help uh, Ray survive for a lot longer. Yeah, and also a defensive stance, which is an event that can you can just throw down on the table and give him two shields to a character. Nice, nice. So uh, a lot of damage, it looks like, coming out from Ryan. The lightsaber and Kylo are both on melee damage, two and three, but he has to spend two resources. That said, he's got the resources right now. All right. So that could be a huge five damage coming in. So it looks like the Jedi robes yep. just what, came down on Rey. When that gets attached, the character gets a shield or two shields if it's the first round of the game. Yep, sadly not the first round of the game for Tom, so uh, Ray's just going to get her one shield. However, he does get to act again because of Ray's ability. Every time you upgrade her, you get to take another action. That's pretty good. And he's going to go ahead and play defensive stance, get two more shields on her, so that's, <laughs> that's nice. Ryan's like, ah, oh, man, look at all those shields. Uh, that said, you know, uh, Ray is uh, getting pretty beefy here with the Jedi robes and the lightsaber. She could definitely do some damage and uh, finish off Count Dooku here pretty in pretty short order. Yep. And, and, you know, this is one of the kind of the interesting things about the game is, like, in some rounds, like, you actually lose tempo by mm. uh, equipping an upgrade to one of your characters. However, with Rey, you don't lose any tempo. You get yeah. to roll her in immediately after upgrading her, which is why she is so good. Yeah, that is great. And I see that uh, Tom rolled the special on his lightsaber again, which is going to allow him to almost undoubtedly kill Dooku this round right. unless, unless Ryan, Ryan can find some way to control that die. Hand. Exactly. <laughs> Yep, and it doesn't look like he dies, so, yep, there goes Dooku. Dooku's out and down for the count. So now we got Ray versus Kylo. You oh, know, there's snap. something fitting about Ray versus Kylo. Yeah, isn't that, there? I, I, think, I feel like I've seen that before. Yep, and uh, it didn't you know, end so well for you know, Kylo. It looked like Ryan had the early advantage taking out Han Solo. Like, yeah. That was huge, but uh, Tom has evened up the score. Yeah, I really like. Quickly here. I, I really like uh, the greater number of upgrades on uh, Tom's side and having BB-8 out. BB-8 is great support. Yep, those are those are both pretty strong advantages here. Yep, he does have a little more damage on Ray, but uh, he definitely has the stronger board position. Yep. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see. Now, each character can have up to three shields. So when Ray had those three shields, he couldn't actually give her more shields. Yep. Uh, he was capped out. That said, now that she lost the shields, he can definitely give her shields again if he had another way to do so. Yep. Uh, looks like uh, Tom he's is discarding the reroll. Yep, discard to reroll some dice, and he keeps the plus one resource. Interesting. And it looks like he rolled another plus one resource. All right, oh, he does have one melee damage and a melee damage. That's a little bit disappointing if you're Tom. You know, he's probably going to want to discard to reroll again. I yep. imagine. All right, so it looks like uh, Force Stroke is coming out on Kylo Ren now. Here's the unfortunate thing for Ryan. Kylo Ren's already activated. Every time yep. you activate a character, you turn it sideways. And you roll all of its dice. However, Kylo's already activated. Can't actually use that die this turn. Yep. Yep. 
He's going to have to wait till next round. Discarding again. Let's see what he gets. Yeah, let's see if this, that is a little bit better, yep. I'd say. So it looks like he has the one focus on BB-8. And that That's allows great. him to turn one of his other dice to a side of, it, of his choice. Yep, looks like uh, a shield. A uh, shield, uh, yep. And then uh, he's going to go ahead and flip the one melee damage to a resource. And now he can pick up two resources. So now yep. he's sitting on three. Yep, he really wants those resources. Yep, Ryan's just making sure he's uh, catching up with everything that was going on there. So, so Ryan has claimed the battlefield at this point, I believe. Yep, I think he has. And then uh, Discard comes out and discards Power of the Force. So uh, Power of the Force actually could have been useful the next round uh, since Ryan now has two blue upgrades. But uh, sadly for him, he no longer has it. So uh, that's the end of the, the round. And so now they're going to go ahead, draw back up to five more cards, gain two more resources. And man, Tom is sitting on five resources. Five that's resources a is a lot in this game. That is a lot. That, that's pretty big. I see Scramble there, which is a card that can re-roll all of your opponent's dice. That can be pretty special if uh, Ryan starts to get something going. Then Tom can just play that and uh, potentially dash all of those plans. That's right. So Ryan's going to take the first action of the turn. He's going to activate Kylo, which yep. turns him sideways. And Ooh, he's got the special on Force Choke there. Yeah, he did get the special on Force Choke. And uh, that's pretty great because it actually deals damage and allows you to turn... Uh, one of your opponent's dice to any side. Wow. So, like, a, like a blank. Yeah, like a blank. <laughs> exactly, you know? <laughs> so that's actually going to be a, a nice utility die. Looks like Ryan. almost everything else that he rolled is uh, resources, though. Yeah, I think though. he has three resources. And depending on what he has in his hand, he might want to reroll those. I don't know if he wants to keep the resources. Yep. All right. So Tom playing force protection there. As we mentioned, that upgrade can be great for uh, giving some extra shield into your characters. Yep, definitely. And uh, Ray is fully maxed out on upgrades yep. now. So each character can have three upgrades. And after that, you're done. So yep. he could replace, though. And it looks like he actually is going to replace. So one thing you can do is you can discard an upgrade that you don't want to reduce the cost of a new upgrade. So he's going to go ahead and pay the difference in cost between the Jedi robes and the DL-44, which yep. is one resource. And now he gets the DL-44 instead of the Jedi robes, and he uses the ability to force Ryan to remove one of his dice. So that was actually a pretty nice play. Yep. And he keeps throwing upgrades on uh, on Ray, which means she keeps getting more and more actions. Exactly. He gets to take another action yep. because he did that. So that's pretty exciting. Uh, it looks like he has a shoot first in hand as well. <laughs> Uh, we'll see if that, I don't think that will actually come into play this game. Could roll some range damage he on that blaster, though. could roll some range damage, though. but uh, it's best like if your opponent did. has some range damage. Oh, yeah, that's right. Well. That's how it and works. And Ryan's yep, not going to have any range damage, so. Yep. Uh, the shoot first in his hand allows you to resolve your range damage and remove your opponent's range damage, but uh, Ryan doesn't have any right now. Whew, that's a lot of damage. I see a uh, plus one and plus two on Ray's die. I see, uh, looks like, is that two or three range damage on the blaster? Yeah, uh, well... I, it's now a blink. Oh, well, because it's now a blink. Force choke. Oh, <laughs> I know force choked Ray. Yep. And uh, her blaster is now a blank. So it looks like uh, that might be a disrupt there. Yep. And uh, it looks like uh, it is a disrupt. Yep. Getting rid of one of yep. Ryan's so resources. Yep. And there's still three more damage sitting on Ray's dice, which is pretty great. So Ryan's going to go for some damage himself, and he did get it. That said, he only has one resource now. That disrupt was huge. That disrupt ate his resource. Yep. And now he doesn't have the two resources to trigger both of those die. Because that, that actually could have been a game, I think. Yeah. It's five damage. That would have been a game. Oof. Man, so uh, dodge the bullet there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, by using that disrupt. That was definitely useful. Oh, and the focus result from BB-8. So BB-8 is going to come be really in, nice. help Ray, turn one of her. He can turn the blaster back to the damage. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty fun. Yeah, Ryan's uh, complaining about his lack of resources. He could also use the focus to turn uh, force protection on. He could to, and uh, get some shields. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, actually, the force protection already got removed. Oh, that was yeah, the one he used. The one yep. That, yeah. Yep. Already got used. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So Ryan is running out of steam this round, and Tom still has a lot of dice here. So we'll see what he can hit back. Yeah, with. He has at least three damage right now. He has the focus, so he could go potentially up to about six. Yeah, that said, Tom is very low on dice or uh, or on health. Yep. Ray is really, really close to dying. Interesting that he didn't keep the scramble in hand. That could have been useful next round because it looks like this game is going to go one more round. Yep. And then we'll know who, who emerges the victor between Kylo Ren and Ray. Wow, that's a lot of damage, though. I think oh that's six damage that showing six right damage. there. That said, Woo. Kylo has zero right now, I yep. believe. Uh, yep, and one shield. And one shield. 
So that would just take him down to uh, six health remaining. Yep, so Ryan's going for the reroll. He wants something useful that's not a resource. Hey, he got a damage. Ooh, a melee damage. So that'll put uh, Ray one away. Yep. One away from defeat. This game is almost over. All but right, Kylo six damage six coming damage. in at Kylo. Wow. Man, that's huge. So, you know, this is going to come down to, uh, to the next round and see uh, what people can get on their dice. Yep. So yeah. interesting that Ryan chose to discard Kylo Ren's lightsaber. You know, I think he potentially could have uh, switched out the lightsaber for Kylo Ren's lightsaber, but mm. they both both cost three. Right, right. And uh, Kylo Ren's lightsaber uh, has a bit more damage on it. Yeah, that is true. They chose uh, to discard it to reroll, so he can keep the other cards in his hand instead. So uh, uh, yeah, at this point in the round. It seems like Ryan is trying to decide if he wants to just do the one damage or go for the special and go for the win. Oh, yep. So he does just deal the one damage, leaving Ray only one health away from defeat. Yep. Yep. And uh, Tom now has to decide if he wants to take, uh, I guess, maybe a resource from the DL44 or... Uh, so, yep, it's a blank right now. Yeah, a, he but he has the focus, so, yep. He can turn it to any die. Could turn it to some damage. Wants. Probably damage is what you want, but right. uh, with Ryan going first next round, you know, that does put you in a pretty precarious uh, position. Yep, yep. Although, uh, he still has to roll it, but it, uh, it, it would be pretty. Uh, and that's why I think I would have kept the scramble in my hand. Yeah. Just uh, as, a, as an round. out. Yep. Uh, oh, I, I guess I know why I got rid of the scramble. So I think scramble is actually a spotted yellow character. Oh, I think you're right about that. Roll. And yep. so uh, if you notice, Tom was running two different character colors in his deck. And some cards can only work, like use the force, only work if you have a, a character of that color still alive. Yep. And so by losing Han Solo, he actually lost access to some of the cards in his deck, and he can't actually use them anymore. Right, right. That's absolutely correct. And that's one of the downsides of running multiple colors in your deck versus someone like Ryan, who's running, you know, two blue characters, so he's never going to lose access to his yep. cards until he loses the game. And, of course, the upside of running multiple colors is that you have access to a much wider card pool, and you can uh, maybe cover some of your faction's uh, inherent weaknesses That's with right. the strengths of another faction. Yep, so it's always, uh, when deck building, an interesting choice to decide if you want to go, like, one, two, or even three color. Right, so this is coming right down to it. Oh, Kylo Ren has only three health left. Ray has one health left. Yep, deflect is a great pull. Ooh, yeah. If, if Ryan had uh, range damage, but sadly he has melee damage. Oh, no! <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, looks like uh, Ryan just used Hidden and Shadow to give uh, Kylo a shield instead of rolling in, which gives Tom the initiative, and he's able to roll in damage. Yeah, he's got ooh, he's got the special on the lightsaber. Oh, that allows it's, him to block. Yep. Oh, oh man. This is, this is so close. All right, here comes Kylo. So, yeah, Tom doesn't have quite enough to finish with the lightsaber special, but he does have Force Protect to give Ray three shields. Da is there damage showing? Uh, I see the, there's the force choke that the, has yep, the special. force choke for damage. Yep. So Tom has to do something. Uh, deflect isn't going to work. He's looking at deflect. Like, can I use it? Nope. Uh, repost uh, actually removes shields to deal damage, but yep. he can't. Uh, you know, he's one damage away with that lightsaber special. Yeah. Two unblockable damage. That would take uh, Kylo Ren right up it to 10. It takes him to 10 versus 11, but it's not enough. And the Force Protect gives you shields, so All right, so he, is he gonna needs to use that. He needs to use that. But, uh, you know, it's really not going to matter because the oh, Force no. Choke is unblockable. Yep. Well, he uses it, gets the three shields, but Ryan actually plays Intimidate to just get rid of those shields. Yeah. Yep, he does indeed. And uh, interesting that you wouldn't resolve the lightsaber special here at the he, same time. He might not... Uh, Yep. Might not realize. Might not realize that, it. Uh, yep. Yeah, he, he's able to use that as Both well. Both these players are, are fairly new to the game. They've only played a couple of times. That's right. So uh, it, it looks like it's back to back to Tom's turn, and he's going to go for a reroll because he right. does not have enough damage here to win the game. Yep. So he's picking up everything except that lightsaber special. Yep. And uh, let's see what he got here. Uh, plus two range and two Ooh, two melee, melee. melee. That is going to be enough. If but the first oh. joke. Oh, that's it. That's it. The first joke. <laughs> I didn't even see 
Uh, uh, looks like Tom didn't see the four stroke. I don't know if he could have done anything to get rid of it anyway, yep. even if he could. But uh, that was a close game. Yeah, that was really, really close. Pretty much really one close. HP left for each player. Yeah, that, that was great. Came all the way to the wire. Yep. Dang. So both players are going to uh, open a couple more packs here, and then they're going to play again, I believe. All right, yeah. I wonder uh, if they'll get something good, maybe throw some new cards in their deck. Yeah, See yeah. See if they can get we the edge. Ryan, uh, <laughs> Ryan won round one. So I'm sure Tom wants revenge in round two. Oh, yeah, absolutely. You can... Uh, uh, you can bet on it. So I'm sure that we'll be uh, cutting back to, to that Lee as we uh, yep, get I the. Am. All right, there they are. I imagine so. So they're probably they're they're just talking through their round a little bit. Yeah, the, uh, it looks like Ryan had uh, no mercy in hand, which can deal a ton of damage if you discard cards from your hand. Yeah. So. Both players uh, ecstatically talking over the uh, <laughs> the cards and oh, playing the yeah. game. Oh, so two Tom had two copies of one with the force in his hand. That that card is ridiculous. Yeah, so that's a four cost upgrade, and uh, it's a nice upgrade because even if the character it's on is defeated, you actually move it to the table as a support card. And most importantly, its die is ridiculous. It is. It has no blanks and it has the high value. Yeah. Sides yeah. It on has all of. All of its sides. It has like one die that it, like lets you set three, or it has a three focus, I think, yep. or two or three focus that lets you set your two or three your own dice. It does. Dice. Yep. It also has some range damage on it. It's yep. got a couple of resources. Some on shields. It. Yeah, it's a it, fantastic. It's a really die. good die. Yep. All right, both players shuffling up here, ready for the rematch. Yep. Looks like we're gonna maybe play a little best of three action here, perhaps. Uh, all right. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. All right. So. Going to go ahead, shuffle up, and then deal out their starting hands. Uh, you know, after you've seen both of these decks in actions, uh, who do you think kind of has the advantage in this matchup? It's hard to call. It's uh, it's really too bad that uh, Han Solo was taken out so early. He took a ton of damage on the first turn because I think that if he can really uh, kind of get rolling with those ambush cards and getting shields, he can be a lot, uh, a lot more slippery. Right. Uh, He's kind of the harder character to take out with yeah. his ambush. Yeah. And so... It's interesting that Ryan decided to go for Han Solo first. Because, like, it's definitely a bit more of an uphill battle, but his dice are definitely better than Ray's to start. And yep. he's worth way more points than her. So it looks like they're going to crack open some new packs here. Yeah. See what they get. Let's see. I got a blue die. Ryan got a blue die. That might help his deck. Ooh. Let's see if he can stick this into his deck. Oh, Jedi Robes. Oh, Jedi Robes. All right. All right. Uh, that's uh, that is that's a, he a hero card. Yep. So he's not going to be able to include that in his uh, villain deck. Yep. So cards have uh, one of three different affiliations. They are either hero, villain, or neutral. Yep. If you're running uh, hero characters, you can't use villain cards in your deck and vice versa. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of cards, though, that are neutral and you can include in your deck uh, no matter what side characters you are running. Yep. And as we kind of talked about during the game, the, the colors that you can include in your deck are determined by the characters that you have in play. Right. So, so Tom can include both blue and yellow in his deck, whereas Ryan is uh, restricted to blue only. Right, and uh, blue cards are force, so yep. they kind of represent uh, force powers and the like. Uh, red cards are command cards, so they represent a lot of the kind of military and logistics uh, that both sides are able to use. And then yellow is uh, kind of the rogue faction. Yep. You know, you got your bounty hunters and yeah. scoundrels. Yeah. Uh, in uh, in yellow. So those are the three colors of the game. And then uh, there are also gray cards, which you can include in uh, any deck, regardless of what color characters you're using. All right, we got a red die. Yep, and it looks like it's the uh, IQ uh, sniper rifle. Ooh. Yeah, IQA sniper rifle. Shoots you right in the intelligence. Yep, and uh, <laughs> that thing is pretty great. It deals unblockable damage, and it has a plus two and plus three damage sides on it as Whoa. well. Whoa, that's pretty sweet. Yeah. All right, so he's got a crazy sniper rifle. Yep. He's got a uh, some kind of yellow dirty. vent. Fight, fight dirty. Fight dirty. Uh, that's what it's called. That's one of my favorite cards in the set. So uh, we talked a bit earlier about how it's important that you know you don't just have cards that come out and deal damage. Yep. Uh, without having dice in your pool, because right. one of the conceits of the game is that your opponent you know rolls dice and then you probably have a way to potentially kind of manipulate their dice or respond to their dice and it kind of plays into the back and forth action of the game. Yep. Uh, fight dirty, you know. You still have to have dice in your pool, but they don't have to show damage because Ooh. Fight 30 allows you to remove any number of your yellow dice and deal a damage for each one you remove. So your opponent Whoa. doesn't see it coming, and you're just like, yeah, I'll take these resources and resource dice and turn them into damage, and it, it can be a great way to just kind of sneakily finish <laughs> off a great. character. 
So that's a that's a super fun card. Uh, it's also better, obviously, if you're running a lot of yellow dice. So maybe doesn't necessarily belong in a deck that's running Ray and Han Solo together. All right, a Tuscan Raider. Yeah, Tuscan Raiders. Oh man, yeah, Tuscan Raiders were kind of decisive in the in the game that I played against Team Covenant the other day. Really? Yeah, the Tuscan Raider has an ability that allows you to basically discard a card from your hand after you roll its die and you can immediately resolve one of its uh, character upgrade dice. Ooh, so that's th pretty sweet. Yeah, that gives you a that, way that, to kind of jump, that. give you know, ambush your opponent, get the jump on them. Right, it makes you fast, which is uh, pretty key in this game. That's right. So oh. I imagine Team Covenant will be uh, posting that game with you at some yeah, point. Yeah, they will be, yep. yep. Uh, so watch out for that. Yeah. That was a fun game. You all can we look forward cracked, to that. Yeah, we cracked open some packs and uh, uh, modified the starters and had a lot of fun playing that game. So it uh, uh, looks like he's uh, looking at award ceremony there, Yep. which allows you to draw cards based on your kind of uh, exhausted characters. Yep. But uh, there was a card earlier in that pack called uh, Endless Ranks, mm. which is actually a really interesting card. I like that card a lot. Yeah, it costs five, and five resources in this game is a lot. Yeah, that is a lot, of, a lot to spend on a single card. But it gives you one of your defeated non-unique red characters back. What? Yeah. So, so I could just kill kill your stormtrooper and you would just have another one right that's there. That's right. Exactly. But like like they're just waiting in the wings or something. Yep, for that, sure. That's crazy. Oh, Scout. Scout is a nice card. I love Scout. It's really fun. Uh, one cost die, so really cheap to throw out, but it allows you to look at your opponent's hand and discard cards from it. Yep. Uh, you do have to discard the cheapest card from it, but mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times some of those uh, counters that you want to get rid of are pretty cheap. Yeah. Yep. Is that another copy of uh, Fight Dirty there? That is another copy of Fight Dirty, yep. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if Tom was running a yellow deck, yep. I would definitely slot two of those in there. Or he, he oh, would need a, a villain. Oh, that's actually Ace in the Hole, actually. Whoa. Yeah, that's actually Ace in the Hole. Oh, uh, right. Okay. Not Fight Dirty. Fight Dirty yep. looks kind of similar, but that's actually Ace in the Hole, which allows you to roll one of your yellow dice in without actually playing the card. So he gets another copy of uh, that battlefield that he actually has in play right there. He does, yep. Uh, you do bring one battlefield with you to the game, and then uh, on the roll-off you decide which battlefield you want to use. The other battlefield is removed. However, there are some cards like uh, Hyperspace Jump uh, that do allow you to switch battlefields mid-game. Whoa! So just because you don't win the roll-off doesn't mean that you're not going to get your battlefield in yeah. at some point in, in the yeah. game. Yeah, provided you uh, have the right cards in your deck. Yep. All right, both players gonna going to shuffle up here. Looks like they're getting ready for their rematch. Yeah, you're going to... You can definitely tell that uh, Tom has uh, played card games a lot with the way that he's bridge shuffling those cards. Yep, that's a very nice shuffle. Yeah, that is very impressive. So uh, yeah, Han Solo and Rey, round two against Count Dooku and Kylo Ren. Will the forces of good prevail? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we will have to see. So. Uh, if you're just joining us, this is Star Wars Destiny. It is a new collectible dice and card game. Yeah, it's not Fantasy even out Flight. yet. It's not. It comes out uh, December 1st. And uh, you start with a team of characters on the board. And you get to basically attack your opponent, try to reduce them down to zero health uh, in order to defeat them and win the game. You can also win by running your opponent out of cards in both hand and deck. Yep. So it looks like Tom is going to choose to play on his battlefield, yep. which gives Ryan two shields to start. Yep, just like last game. Yep, and you can put those shields on either character or put two on one. Yep. So they're drawing their starting hand, and then they'll uh, use their mulligan. So you usually want to get some dice cards early. Uh, looks like he staff. has plenty. Yeah, race staff. Uh, Jedi robes. Jedi robes is a great yep. pull on the first turn of the game. And he's got, uh, it binds all things, the upgrade reducer. That's right, because uh, Jedi Robes will give you two shields if you play it the first round. So that's definitely a card that I'm going to keep in my hand. Definitely. And uh, not Mulligan. Uh, shoot first, then it really proved to be all that effective last right, game. Right. I would uh, definitely throw that back into if, the deck. Yeah, if you were, uh, were uh, fighting against a ranged damage deck, it could definitely be useful. But uh, yep. in this specific matchup, probably not so much. That's right. Oh, mm -hmm. man. And a lightsaber. Top deck's so a lightsaber. Tom is going to have a lot of choices as to what upgrades he wants to throw down on his his heroes turn one. Yeah. So, uh, you know, he almost has too many upgrades because uh, he might have to start ditching some of those great cards for rerolls. Right. 
Yeah, it's always important in, in a game of Destiny to weigh the value of uh, a card for its, uh, playing it for its effect versus uh, using it to reroll your dice. All right, so it's time to display a support card called uh, It Binds All Things. And while It Binds All Things is on the table, you can exhaust it to reduce the cost of another blue upgrade you play by one. So he's going to go ahead and put the Jedi robes on. Normally it costs two, but he's able to reduce the cost using It Binds All Things. Yep. Uh, to one. So it binds all things. It's kind of a nice economy. And Ryan popped card. out the Sith Holocron there, yes. which is definitely a really good card. That is a fantastic card. Oh, man. So Sith Holocron has a couple of blanks on it, but it costs zero resources to play. So it's yeah. a great early game card to just kind of throw on one of your blue characters. And it allows you to actually get other blue cards onto the table for free by just swapping it out if you Ooh. roll it special. Yeah. That's uh, that's pretty good. <laughs> it is pretty good. All right, so let's see what time rolled here. Looks like uh, double discard and a resource. Yeah, it looks like double discard and a wow. resource. Yeah, so those discards can uh, basically discard two cards from Ryan's hand. And discards are actually very valuable in this game. Yeah. Not only is it kind of a win condition to run your opponent out of cards, but you can also really disrupt their deck by discarding cards over their hand. And, you know, they might play a couple cards, and then you discard a couple cards, and before you know it, they can't even reroll their dice because they don't have any cards to discard. Exactly. I mean, that's a key part of it, that you're reducing the, the, the consistency of their dice, essentially, by discarding cards from their hand. That's right. So it looks like uh, Han rolls a resource and a blank there. All right. And uh, Ryan plays Intimidate, which is a great event, and it removes all shields from one of the characters. So he yep. removes two shields from Ray. And Ray's going to go ahead and discard the last two cards in Ryan's hand. So Ryan hasn't even activated his characters yet. Yeah, and he's already stuck with and whatever he stuck. gets. Yep, he's Unless stuck he uh, has any focus. Is. Oh, no. Disaster. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. So two blanks and, and uh, a, a die he has to pay a resource for. Yep, it's a two discard, but he has no resources right now. So he better hope to roll <laughs> some resources from Kylo. Oh, no. <laughs> so there's the power of the, the two discard. Like, man, that is a brutal first roll for Tom, Dooku. Tom getting some money there. Yep. Tom decides to take some resources. He'll be able to drop Ray's staff with those two resources. Now it's back to Ryan. So, you know, one of the great things about Destiny is the fast-paced back-and-forth action yep. system. You just yep. action for me, action for you, action for me, action for you. Looks like Kylo Ren's special is showing there. It is, and uh, double shield as well. Yep. So uh, pretty defensive role for, for Ryan there, and he's unable to try to get something uh, more offensive because he's out of cards. Yep. So uh, he Tom's able to uh, claim the battlefield there. and uh, Sounds like they have a, some sort of rules question here. Uh, they might even be trying to address it to us in the booth. I'm not sure. <laughs> That's right. I wish I right. could. Uh, oh, he's, a he's asking if he'll be able to take an action after claiming the battlefield if he plays an you upgrade do. on the raid. Yeah, you do get an action after playing it. Yep. So you could actually play an upgrade on her uh, All right. using the battlefield, and then you could take another action. You might need to poke your head out there and yeah. tell them that, Lucas. I'll just keep talking. Just, just keep talking. Keep talking. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you can all right, we've we've got it. Uh, we've got it. Yeah, we've we got everything runner. resolved. <laughs> All right. Yeah. We'll so. see. Uh, now both these characters are exhausted. Uh, there aren't really too many actions that he could take. No, uh, I can't really think of. Um, anything that would be all that useful for him to if do he had some kind of event that he action. could play to uh, mess up I mean that said like if Han Solo the, here's, the, here's the situation where it's good yeah, well yeah sure he can re-roll it but he can't use it now right they might they might use the die anyway but uh, here, <laughs> if, let's pretend that that Han Solo die was already showing two range damage yep he could claim the battlefield play the upgrade on Ray. And then uh, basically choose to resolve the Han Solo as a second action. So you kind of claim the battlefield a turn early yeah. and uh, prevent your opponent from claiming it. Yeah. So well, actually, so here is what he did here. He actually discarded the lightsaber, ensuring that Kylo Ren won't reveal it with his special. So that actually was pretty that's critical true, that he actually. got to yeah, take that Yeah, that is action. what he did. So uh, and rather than take three damage, he actually only took two damage because of Ray's death. Right, right. So, he was yeah. guaranteed so to take was, at least two. But, yeah. Uh, that was a pretty good action yes. on Tom's part. Uh, it spark. is unfortunate seeing that damage from Han Solo they can't use. Yep. So All right. the, the die the just goes back to the character at the end of the round if you don't have any way to resolve it during the round. Yep. 
So you can't keep the dice uh, out there in between rounds. Everything readies. Both characters draw back up to five, and they're going to gain two resources at the start of this round. Yep, there indeed. So, yeah, Star Wars Destiny, you know, card advantage can definitely be a thing. There are some builds that try to get a lot of cards in their hand, but uh, usually you're going to play with five cards each turn. Ooh. And uh, one with the Force. That's a good one. Wow, one with the Force is coming out, and it's all about how you use those five cards in your hand. And Tom definitely has some interesting options because he can upgrade mm -hmm. uh, some of his upgrades. He can basically swap one out, discard it, and just pay the difference in cost to put a new one down. And so he could basically get one with the Force out right now by right. choosing to get rid of uh, the Jedi robes or the Force protection. And probably the Jedi robes, you know, that kind of card, is, it's really the comes into play effect that you're probably it playing is. it for the die itself. Not really that powerful, especially when compared to something like one with the Force. Yeah, for sure. The other option he has is to drop Ray Staff which yep. would give him a lot more offensive firepower here. Uh, it looks like he's going to go with one with the Force, though. Uh, he can reduce it by one with it binds all things, but uh, he's not going to be able to afford it otherwise unless he gets rid of the Jedi robes. Yep, so he is uh, ditching the robes there. And using the, yep, yep. the reduction. So he only pays one for that powerful, powerful Oof. die. That's awesome. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. And, you know, with Ray's ability, hey, he gets to go again. Yeah. Take and, another action. And playing it on Ray is, is uh, definitely the right call here, not just because it gets another action, because Ray has damage on her already. If she is killed uh, before the end of the game, then that will actually become a support, one with the Force. That's well. right. So just because you have an upgrade of a specific color, it doesn't mean that you have to play that upgrade on a character of that right. color unless the card says so. Right. So he actually... Uh, you know, could drop like a lightsaber on Han Solo, for example. Uh, that said, one with the Force does, I believe, say blue character only, so he, he kind of yep. had to put it on Ray. Okay. But yep. uh, a lot of Force powers kind of only go on blue blue characters, but uh, other cards, uh, like the Sith Holocron, actually, could go on a character of any color. Yeah, and it looks like uh, Ryan threw out another Sith Holocron there onto uh, Kylo yeah, Ren. Yeah, wow, double Sith Holocron. And he has at least a one, maybe two Force choke in hand. Ooh, great yeah, roll from so Tom there. so he has like two Force choke in hand. Interesting. He went ahead and uh, used the Force Choke. He could have potentially waited and tried to roll a Sith Holocron and then swap it with the Force Choke. Right, right. Roll it. Does it swap onto the same character or can it go <laughs> it onto does. the... It does. It swaps onto the same character. Then okay. you can pay a resource to roll the new die in. Oh, interesting. So you can actually okay. use it that round. That, yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's obviously the Obviously, probably the best card to use with the Sith Holocron is the Mind Probe, yeah, which is actually definitely. in the Dark Side uh, Villain Starter. So Dooku rolling some dice here. Got a melee damage, a resource, and a blank on the Holocron. Yep, and uh, BB-8, I think, rolled a resource there uh, for Tom last turn. So scramble in hand, but it does cost a resource. Uh, I think it might be actually, it's free. free, actually. Yeah, I think it's free. Yeah, so he could actually choose to scramble, but uh, instead he's going to use, uh, it's just going to discard willpower. Uh, at least think about oh, it. Think about All it. right, let's think about that some more. This is how you put cards in your discard pile. Yep. See, you just put it in there. That's right. <laughs> yeah, this is how you would reroll if you wanted to reroll. But first, he's going to roll on Ray. And, you know, I like this move. Like, you yep. could reroll Han now, but Han's not going to die anytime soon. Right. So, you might as well get more reroll targets into your pool before actually choosing to discard one of your cards from hand to reroll any number of your dice. Absolutely. So, I see uh, resources, melee damage, a blank, and a plus one resource. Yep, so Ryan's going to go ahead and roll in, and uh, he got a blank on the immobilize, but, you know, that actually doesn't really matter. Like, if you have to get a blank on one of those dice, that's the one to get the blank on. Yep. Because it has a special action that you can just remove that die to turn one of your opponent's die to a side of, uh, to a blank. Yep. Got the special on Kylo Ren and the Sith Holocron there. And a resource and uh, some melee damage. Yeah, so we could see a double force choke come out Ooh. here on Kylo Ren. And that was the card that won him the game. It, it was the Last card game. that won him the game. That would be pretty nasty. That would be. Yeah, so he could resolve those specials if he wanted. And uh, looking at Tom's hand, uh, nothing terribly expensive in it. It looks like we have a 0, 1, and a 2. Yep. So Kylo Ren's special deals damage equal to the cost of the card you pull. Nothing that's going to deal a massive amount of damage. Sometimes you can get really lucky, hit like that Millennium Falcon. Yep. Five damage. <laughs> oh, poor Han. <laughs> All right, so re-roll here from Tom. He can discard Ooh, the Ooh, lots power. of range damage on Han. Lots of range damage on Han. Wow, that's four range damage for Han, and he don't, doesn't even have to spend any resources for it. And then uh, one with the force roll, the two resource side. Yep. That's pretty nice. Look at all those res four resources showing for Tom as well. All right, getting some resources yep. on Ryan's side. 
Uh, that said, Tom doesn't really have any way to spend all those resources right now, so he actually might want to try to reroll some of those into more damage. Yeah. I think. Yeah, I could see that. And looks like he's just going to take the resources. Money's good. Money is good. Yep. Yep. It's hard to have too many resources. That said, you know, you don't want to get to a point in the game where you have like five or six resources that you're not spending stacked up because that just means that your dice were used a little bit inefficiently up to that point. Right. Ryan discarding to uh, re-roll some dice here. Yep. Let's see if he gets any damage. Uh, looks like one blank. Maybe yep. uh, two shield results for the immobilize and a uh, plus one resource off the holocron. So uh, interesting they re-rolled the holocron special. Yeah. Then it seemed to want, get a, want to get the second force choke down for some reason. Which I think would have been uh, would have been pretty sweet to have double four stroke on Kylo Ren. All right, so he so uh, Tom got the special on force protection. You'll be able to use that to get him on shields. Yep, and uh, the nice thing about the special on force protection is you can actually distribute the shields however you wish among your characters. Yep. Normally, say you have a like two shield die on a mobilize that Ryan has, you'd have to put both of the shields on the same character. Well, the special enforced protection actually allows you to kind of split the shields. So yep. he's able to give two to Ray and one to Han. Yep. Ryan's action now, considering uh, considering his options. Yep. Uh, I think if I'm Ryan here, I'd go ahead and just fire the Kylo special. Yeah. Because uh, Tom could just discard the last card in his hand, and then it does nothing. Yeah. Because there are no cards to reveal. Definitely. You want to uh, want to get that? Want to get that out now? Uh, oh wow! He just—he doesn't like any of it. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, screw this! I'm gonna reroll all of them, and uh, let's see what he gets. Uh, damage for resources off Kylo Ren, uh, a blank, and a focus for Dooku. Uh, the special yep. on the Holocron again. Well, this, uh, but uh, I don't. Does he? I th he discarded the Force Joke, so I don't—I don't know if he has anything left in hand to yeah. actually use with the Holocron. He has one card, but uh, we'll see. Yep, another resource for Tom. Wow. Han is just smuggling everything in this game. Yeah. He, yeah. he really taught Ray well. <laughs> it's interesting that uh, Tom is keeping that range damage out there for so long. Uh, yeah. Normally, you don't want to leave it out there for too long it just gives your opponent more chances to kind of control those dice. But That's right. kind of by this point, Ryan uh, probably would have done it if, I he, mean, if he had the yeah, option. Both of these players are very aggressive players. Like They're not packing a whole lot of uh, dice control in their decks, it looks like. Yeah. And uh, the dice control they are packing, they're just discarding to try to get more damage. <laughs> so they're both kind of going in for the aggro game plan here. Yeah, yeah, all in. That's right. And uh, more damage on Han. It'll, it'll be interesting to see if he goes for Kylo Ren or Dooku. Dooku arguably has uh, slightly more dangerous dice. Uh, depending on what you're looking for, obviously. But Kylo's got the three upgrades on him, so he's definitely a higher value target right now. Yep. All right, so it looks like uh, some damage is going down on Han. And the, it's, oh, he's claiming the battlefield because he's going to upgrade Ray and then go ahead and resolve his four range damage. So, yep. so that's a nice play. Yep, just plays uh, one. And uh, then goes ahead and shoots. But by him, so he is going to shoot at Kylo Ren. Yep. Probably ultimately the right choice to uh, I think it is. neutralize I think those it upgrades. Is. And, uh, you know, Tom actually has a pretty strong board position here. He's got BB-8 out again. Uh, he's got a lot of resources if he's able to draw into something to give Han, like maybe the blaster pistol next round. Yep. And uh, Ray is loaded up with upgrades as well. All Ryan. right, so Ryan's discarding his last card to reroll again. Still gets the special on Holocron, and uh, <laughs> one melee damage want. and one focus. That's right. So the focus uh, could go ahead and uh, move the Holocron to, uh, well, nothing really good because it only has plus resources and uh, focus. Yeah, if you don't want that special, <laughs> yeah, then... So if uh, you don't want the special, uh, there's not a whole lot you can you can get out of it. That's kind of why you play it. <laughs> yeah, it is. So uh, damage coming down on Han, and... Yep. Uh, Just a little ping. Yeah, the... He just turns it to a blank because he can, <laughs> and then uh, returns his dice to his characters. So that'll be the end of the round. All right, so uh, we're about to start the next round. At the end of each round, you draw back up to five cards and uh, collect two resources. Resources are those little yellow cubes mm -hmm. uh, at the bottom uh, of the play area. Tom has six resources right now. Yep, and Ryan just has two. And Ryan just has two. And uh, this is a battle. 
to the death here between Kylo Ren and Dooku, Han Solo, BB-8, and Rey. So uh, it looks like Tom is going to go first since he has the battlefield. Absolutely. So the battlefield is the Imperial Armory that's uh, sitting above Tom's deck next to the damage tokens, and uh, whoever controls that gets to go first. And so he's going to take his action. You get one action on your turn. And he's going to roll in his dice. All and right. he rolls all of the dice with that character, including the upgrades on him. Upgrade, give that character extra dice. And let's see what he gets here. Looks like one resource, plus two melee damage, special on force protection, special on Ray's staff, and uh, one shield. Yep, so the resource uh, results will be able to give him more resources if he wants them. Probably doesn't. Uh, the specials activate the special ability that are listed on the card that it comes with. So Ren's going to go ahead and activate Kylo Ren, turns him sideways, and rolls in all of Kylo Ren's dice. And let's see what he gets here. I see, uh, looks like a shield, uh, one melee damage, one focus, and one disrupt, yep. possibly. Yep, so Tom is going to go ahead and pay three resources, because that's the cost of the deal, 44 Heavy Blaster Pistol. And so he adds that die, because it comes with the die to Han. So now Han will roll his uh, Blaster Pistol die in addition to his character dice. Yep. And it also forces uh, Ryan to remove one of his dice with this special ability on it once it comes into play. Yep, and Han also gets a shield for uh, whenever a card with Ambush is played. That's true, yep. So he has the little Boba Fett helmet on him, and that is the shield, and that will block incoming damage on him. So now it's back to Ryan, and uh, I think Tom gets another action. Oh right? yeah, he does DL actually because ambush. ambush. It does have ambush. Yep. When uh, usually just take one action on your turn, but uh, ambush does give you another action immediately after playing the card with ambush. Yep. Got some range damage and uh, resource. All right. So hidden in shadow is an upgrade that allows Ryan to exhaust it, the hidden in shadow card, to give uh, Count Dooku a shield. And yeah, Count Dooku currently has two shields on him. And I think uh, I think he has to have no shields. He for does it to get actually. That that's true. Yep. So yeah. actually can't use that right now to get a shield. Right. And BB-8 uh, is coming in, and it looks like he rolls a focus result, which will allow Tom to change one of his dice to any side. Yep. That's that's powerful. That's yeah, really the good. The focus is so good. Oh my God. Power of the Force. Ooh. Oh, oh. So that basically allows you to resolve a die, changing the value to the number of blue upgrades in play. Wow. So that's five damage wow. to Han Solo. Ouch. Oh, man. That is brutal. So Han is at six damage on his character, uh, and he only has 10 health. So he's uh, four damage away from being defeated here. Yep, going to use that force protection here. Yeah, to he's shielding up Han. So Han gets three more plan. shields, so that'll block the next three damage coming in on him. Uh, looks like uh, Disrupt comes down and takes some of uh, Tom's resources. So, you know, he actually was able to use all those resources that he collected. Yeah, or at least have them taken away by the dark side. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yep. They did something. <laughs> so Tom is still sitting on the special on Ray's staff. And Ray's staff special, that little circle there on the gray die, uh, says remove a die showing damage. So not terribly useful at this point, but I'd probably leave it in my pool until Dooku rolls in. Yep. Just so I can uh, potentially remove some of his dice that might show damage. But it looks like Tom's going to go ahead and reroll it. Yeah, Tom is a... Uh, oh, wow. He's rerolling a lot. A very I aggressive I think he's about player. just going to pick he uh, really okay, likes to almost everything. He really reroll anything that isn't damage. <laughs> yeah, that does seem to be the case here. He does leave a resource potentially on the blaster pistol, which is kind of interesting because that has a lot of damage on it. Right. So... Nope. That, uh, no, yeah, never out. mind. Uh, I spoke too soon. So... Uh, you can discard one card from your hand. To oh, there's the guns. Any number of your dice, and Ooh, wow, look at focus. all that range damage. Oh, my the, God. He's got the two focus showing on one with the fours. Rolled the special again on Ray's staff. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. And he didn't want the first time, but the dice gods decided that he gets it. Yeah. And they're like, this is what you get, man. Stop trying to change it. That's right. Uh, so Ryan is going to shield up Kylo Ren. So uh, anytime you resolve a shield result, you get to put shields on your characters. Uh, Kylo Ren is fully shielded right now. He has three shields on his character card, and you can't have more than three shields. And those shields are just going to soak damage before it gets to That's the right. So Ryan took his action to resolve his dice, and he can resolve all dice of one symbol. And now we're back to Tom. Tom has a lot of dice in his pool. He does have a lot of dice. Yep, so back and forth, uh, the action system goes. It is an action to play a card from your hand. So Tom is thinking about playing smuggling as his action. Uh, or maybe unpredictable. Couple of options Or there. maybe Jedi robes. <laughs> That's it, though. I, I think he's three. actually thinking ah, about discarding it to uh, reroll. He really doesn't want that special on race oh, staff. Well, oh, mm, no. Maybe. Mm. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. 
It's a pretty good I special. Mean, it, it looks like he has, what, the double focus on one with the force? Like, he might not need to reroll here. Right. That said, he has... Unless he look, wants to reroll that to I mean, try to get damage. Uh, well, he, yeah. Or, I mean, but look how many resource uh, results he has on Han Solo. Han Solo has a three range damage for a resource, a three range damage for a resource, and uh, is that a third three range damage for a resource? On the blaster? Uh, I think two. that does that one require a resource? Uh, it looks does. like it might have it, yeah. It does, yeah. So wow, yeah. He has like nine damage sitting on the table. He just needs the resources. But he doesn't have the resources. So All he right. decides to flip it to the three without the resource side. That's objectively better. That is objectively <laughs> better, yeah. Why pay resources to resolve a die face if you can just get it for free? That's, that's, my, that's my motto. Focus, Ooh. resource, and special on the Holocron coming yep. out on Ryan's side. Yep. So uh, Ryan went ahead and activated Dooku, which turns his character card sideways and rolls his dice into his pool. And uh, yeah, that focus result on Dooku will allow him to turn the Sith Holocron to a plus one resource. So the pluses, again, have to be resolved at the same time as another die of that symbol. So he'll be right. able to resolve those two blue dice in front of Dooku for two resources. Right. Or the... the uh, Yes, the one die showing the blue, uh, the plus one. That's right. Yep. And uh, back to Tom. He's going to go ahead and just Bam. deal a <laughs> massive amount of damage. Nine damage. Oh, Woo. man. Uh, six damage, apparently, well, because of the three shields. Took yep. the three shields. Yeah, but yep. nine damage total. Yep. So, man, Kylo really just soaked the hat. Attack from Han yeah. like a boss. It's like if the Force Awakens fight had gone completely the other way. That's right. And they, they had this touching moment, and then Han just shot his son in the gut. Yep, just <laughs> boom. And kind of was like, I can take that too. You know, I took, <laughs> I took a bowcaster, I can take that. Yep. All right. Looks like. Uh, no mercy. So yeah. uh, he can actually turn that die to a side showing melee damage and immediately resolve that die. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a great card. So Ryan took his action to play No Mercy, and now we're back to Tom's action. Uh, he, right. has so he has three more damage. damage. My goodness. That three, looks six, like a dead seven, Kylo. That's a dead Kylo. Yeah, that's unfortunate for Ryan. He's going to lose all those upgrades. Ouch. I don't see any way that he can uh, save Kylo. He passed his turn, and uh, yep. Tom's going to claim the battlefield and then probably resolve those three dice yep. uh, after playing an upgrade He's on Ryan. Using his, using his trick. Yeah, uh, looks like Ryan won the battlefield. But uh, only one person gets to claim the battlefield each round. So yep. Jedi robes come down, give Ray a shield, Whew. and he'll <laughs> use his Ray's ability to resolve Ray's dice. That's a really good move. Three. That, Tom keeps that doing. is, yep. Three more damage on Kylo. That's dead, Kylo. Yep. Kablam. Yep. Oh man. So all those dice go away. Kylo flips over. He is defeated. And uh, just Tuku stands in the way between a victory for Tom. Yeah. Tom. That said, uh, you know, uh, there's a bit of damage on Han Solo there. Yep, yep. He still has a. Uh, both of uh, both of Tom's characters are reasonably damaged. They, uh, but they also have. They a are fair sadly, of sadly, you know, Ryan kind of ended up spreading out his damage a little bit. Yep. And that is always a danger in this game, is you know, if you end up switching targets or damage gets moved around, and before you know it, like you aren't able to defeat anybody, and your opponent has a full strength team on yeah. the other side of the board. Yeah, absolutely. Considering. Uh, Considering your targets and uh, you know trying to get your opponent's dice off the board uh, permanently if possible by killing a character is always really good. That's right. So at the end of the turn, you can always discard cards you don't want from your hand, and then you draw back up to five. Yep. It's always you know a little bit risky to discard cards because if you do ever run out of cards and you have 30 card decks in this game, if you do run out of cards, then uh, you will lose at the end of a round if you have zero cards left in hand or deck. Yep. So. Uh, Two resources for each player each turn, and uh, whoever controls the battlefield goes first. So it looks like Tom will go first again this round. Yep. And he has a power of the force in hand, which we saw Ryan use to great effect last yeah. round. Granted, there aren't quite as many blue upgrades on uh, no, Tom's no. side, but still, three is not bad. Three is not bad. Yeah, you can definitely turn a one into a three and kind of get plus two damage off of it. All right, looks like there's uh, lots of resources. I see a focus, special on force protection, and melee damage. Yep. Immobilize is coming down on Ryan. Uh, so Dooku is now fully loaded on his upgrades. So he decided to yep, save a resource and get rid of Hidden and Shadow, which, you know, wasn't really doing anything since Dooku was already shielded. Yep. It only adds shields if you don't have any shields. Yep, absolutely. Ryan wanted to play defensive there since mm -hmm. he's down to one character, so mm -hmm. don't blame him for that. And now it's back to Tom's action. So uh, one action on your turn, 
Tom uh, could play a card here, or he could activate Han Solo, roll his dice into the pool. Or he could uh, resolve some of Ray's dice. And it uh, looks like he might be resolving some of Ray's dice here. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. You want, you know, Maybe go Tom BB8. is just a resource fiend. Like, yeah. He gains so many resources. He, like, he likes money and he likes damage. He does. Yeah. Oh, BB8 special. BB-8 special. That's, That's really a, good. Yeah, so the special on BB-8 uh, allows you to reroll that die and uh, another die of your choice. And it leaves BB-8's die back in the pool. So you could keep rolling the special and just keep rolling your other dice. Yeah. You just have to keep, always roll it. Two blanks off of that Count Dooku. That's oh, a bummer. Oh, man. You and know, then, uh, resource I kind of go back to the first turn of this game where Ryan ran out of cards before he even rolled his characters in. <laughs> and Count Dooku basically rolled blanks on pretty much everything. Yeah. I feel like that was a big turning point uh, early in this game. And uh, Ryan's definitely been playing from behind a little bit ever yeah. since. Yeah. Unpredictable gets played uh, yep. to and re-roll a die. And, and uh, also give Hana shield. Yep, and Tom gets another action because Unpredictable has Ambush. Yep, the the action economy of Tom's deck with Ambush to get an extra action or upgrading Ray to get an extra action yep. is really cool to see. Yep, one with the Force to get some more resources. That's right, and oh wow, another blaster. <laughs> Double blasters for Han. He's dual wielding. That is going to be gross. Kapow, you know, Han can deal 12 damage in one turn oh now. Oh my gosh. My goodness, that's, uh, that's fantastic. Disgusting. Yep, and uh, Ryan has to remove another of his dice. You know, uh, I'm pretty sure Tom's going to get his revenge. Yep, Tom's taking game. another action here. Yep, let's see what he gets. All right, there's some range damage, damage out there. Damage, resource blank. Yep, damage, damage, resource blank. Damage, <laughs> damage, resource blank. Oh, no mercy. Yep. So, uh... Basically, Ryan can discard cards from his hand to increase the damage of this card. Uh, so he's going <laughs> to... Wow. So that's going to be two, three, four damage. Which I don't think he oh, saw the shields. Yeah. He thought he could just kill Han Solo Yeah, he thought right he could there. kill Han, but the two shields oh, uh, no. actually prevented him from doing that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate, you know. Uh, Han Solo is still there with all of his damage, and Ryan is pretty much out of things to do other than use that immobilize uh, yep. action to return the immobilized die to the card and then uh, flip one of Tom's dice to a blank. Yeah. So Tom's picking up BB-8, going to reroll that, and one of uh, Ray's dice. Yep, looks like he gets the discard and... Uh, uh, resource? Yep, resource. Yeah. yeah, so Ryan's going to go ahead and use the immobilize to turn something to a blank? Maybe? No? I don't know. Uh, eh, he might not like have went back on the card. All right, well. OK. Uh, looks like uh, Tom is going to go ahead and use his focus yep. from the Jedi robes oh. to turn Han to range damage and just Brutal. deal a massive amount of damage to Dooku. And uh, Ryan doesn't have any cards in hand, so he can't use Dooku's ability. Yep. To start to, start grab to a shield. shield him. Yep. Uh, more damage coming on Dooku. He's at seven of ten, and oh, oh the repost. So that lets him get rid of shields. Wow. Yeah. And Dooku deal is destroyed. damage for each shield removed. So wow. Yep. So Ryan had claimed the battlefield there at the end, and he was out of cards, so he couldn't really do anything. And uh, Tom just went. Yeah. Tom went uh, full damage. Yeah, absolutely. Took him just down took in out. one turn. That's pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. All right, so th uh, that is, I believe, all that we have for you guys tonight. Is that correct? Yeah, I yeah. think so. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, look at Star Wars Destiny. It was a lot of fun to work on, and uh, I hope you guys have a lot of fun playing it. Absolutely. If you guys are local, we are having a, a big preview event at the FFG Game Center uh, n this coming Friday on uh, November 11th. And then uh, even if you're not, we're having uh, these pre-release parties at retailers all around the world um, the, the week after that. So come join us uh, at those things uh, and get ready for Destiny. Yeah, it is your destiny. It, it is your destiny. Thanks for joining us, guys. <laughs> All right, thanks.